Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Loom. I am again, Draco Thubin, and this time we are going to open the egg. Let's see what happens. E, C, E, D. My boy. What's happening? The whole village has flown away without us. From the moment you came into this world, Bobbin, great and terrible things have been happening. The elders hoped that your birth was the cause of it. Why would the elders want to get rid of me? I'm such an awful weaver that they never even let me study with the others. They fear you, Bobbin. When the swan arrived, they were already trying to weave the same draft on you that they had worked on me. But the draft turned against them. It means only one thing, that the pattern is failing of its own accord. No! Can't it be stopped? Stop chaos? The only thing to do is embrace it and turn ourselves into creatures of shadow. Or plan our escape. I don't know. But if we are to survive, we must find out where that flock has flown and join them if we can. You've already found Atropos's distaff. Good. You won't be able to weave very much with it at first, but as you practice, its true power will be revealed to you. It's Time to leave this island, Loom Child. Your destiny lies beyond the sunset, across the sea. Mother Hedgel, where are you going? Goodbye, Bobbin. I must follow the swans. Well, this is a fine mess. Everybody's gone and I still don't understand what's going on. Why do they keep calling me Loom Child? Nobody's ever let me anywhere near a loom. Now the last spell we used in the room was open, so let's let's hear this. Those are the same four threads spun by the elders. They're still echoing in the loom. Okay, it's still echoing the transcendence uh, draft. Now that will be important later. That loom will echo the last large spell that was cast at it. Open, I, I wouldn't say is a large spell, so it doesn't count. But as we get better with drafts, we will get more and more notes available to us, and we will get more and more spells available to us. The most of them we're going to get in the first half of the game, and then the second half of the game is all about using them. So. But usually use them pretty soon after you get them, except for a few instances, I think. So we'll see. We'll see how everything goes along. But right now we need to get out of this tent, and we need to go start learning some spells. Gosh. <sighs> you know, where, where should I go? I think I should go. I'll go, I'll go visit my mother's tomb. How about that? That, that always helps bring some calm, some peace, right? Sometimes helps with the answers. So we're going to go to the cemetery. We're going to find out what's back there. And, of course, every cemetery must have a spooky forest preceding it. So here's spooky forest. And there's cemetery. I can't read it. The owl's tail feathers are covering the words. Darn you. Um, hey, what's that? Let's go over here. Ouch. Ah. Oh, wow. Okay, the owl got the bunny. That's a pretty strong owl. That's kind of scary. Don't want to tangle with the owl. Destiny shall draw the lightning down from heaven. Roll its thunder far across the sea. To where I wait upon the shore of wonder. On the day the sky is opened and the tree is split asunder. 
Does this tree look familiar to you? On the day the sky is opened. That's the important part right there. On the day the sky is opened. We'll see that again later. The day the sky is opened. The day the sky is opened. I think he gets it. So now we've got these holes in the trees. Let's let's check them out. There's an owl in there. And that was a note. Another owl. Another note. Didn't know there were so many owls in these woods. All right, and this last one will actually give us the whole draft. So let's give it a shot. Keep your ears open. All the holes are full now. Sounded like D C C D. Let's give it a shot. I guess that draft doesn't apply to holes. Okay, now if you see the red sparkles, that means it is a draft. However, you can't cast it on whatever you cast it on. If you see the white sparkles, that means you got it right. If you, it's not a draft, or you don't know that draft yet, or you can't cast it, or something like that, then he'll tell you, you can't do it. Pretty easy. Now, see in the dark is the draft that we just got, because it's the owls that are teaching us to it. They have great night vision, right? Anyway, it's DCCD, which is the same forward and backwards, which means we cannot reverse that spell. So we can't blind ourselves for eternity. So let's go back into the town. See what we can find now, now that we can see in the dark. We'll head into this tent here. Not nearly as big as the last one, but uh, very dark. So let's look at the darkness here, and we're going to cast C in the dark on the darkness. Now the drafts change from game to game, so don't play this and say, well, Draco Dubin said C in the dark is DCCD, because it might not be. I've had it be CCCC before. All right, let's check this uh, spinning wheel out. Sounded like C, 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 E. Let's try that on the straw. So C, 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 E turns straw on the gold. So I wonder what E, C, C, C does. Turns all that gold into straw. Amazing how the reversal spells work. Okay, that's all that's in that tent. Let's move on to the next. We can't go in there, but we can go in here. Now, this draft is not necessary for the game, but it is fun, so we're going to learn it anyway. It's still dripping. What a mess. Okay, so it's something E E D. Um, it's probably G E E D. So we'll put that down for now. Now, when you play this game, you might want to have a pencil and paper around just to write this stuff down so you don't get confused later on. But anyway, that's all the time we have for today, uh, or at least for this episode, for Let's Play Loom. Uh, come back next time.